Hi there, I'm David Howard, and today we're on set filming the new product video for the Strike Bolt 1C and the Strike Array 4 and 2C units. Reflecting that new school element, a lot of this comes from technologies that I've never seen before in units, such as the Magic Glass in the Bolt 1C. This offers so much creative scope. You can strobe traditionally like a Xenon strobe and then pop that Magic Glass on to have a solid, clean brick of colour. This offers so much because you can snap it on and off and it really is an instant, but you can also fade it and pick how frosted you want that look to be. This is particularly useful when you're doing things with pixel mapping with those strobe tubes, as well as with the coloured elements as well. In the light show, I've tried to contrast the old school with the new cool, and those old school looks, to me at least, are using the Bolt 1Cs in a sort of Xenon strobe-like way, and making use of the redshift and using the blinders to really look like the tungsten blinders of days gone by. And then being able to turn this off and do things like coloured pixel mapping is utility beyond what has been possible before, and this is a really exciting feature. One of the really nice things about the units is they work really well together. You can array them together to create all kinds of shapes. Being able to create my own sort of blinder strobe hybrids out of both units by fixing them together and having them as little clusters has been really, really nice. As the C in the name suggests, these units both have, as well as the traditional blinder and strobe functions, they have the ability to blind and strobe in colour. And one thing I was really blown away with is you can really blind in every colour. You can obviously do the sort of classic tungsten looks, but even right down in the saturate primaries, you can have a shocking amount of light. All of these units are IP65 rated, and I think these new Chauvet Pro products will really find their home at big festivals and big tours, as well as on TV. Thanks so much for coming behind the scenes on the Strike Array and Strike Bolt video.